Today I'm going to show you this really cool tool that allows you to generate images in any style of any other image you want. It's called Instant Style. I'll leave the GitHub page in the description, as well as the demo hugging face space. Now you can also run this locally, but we'll just use the demo space. If you want a tutorial on how to use this locally, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed by this tool, because not only can you upload your reference image and then type in a prompt and it will give you that prompted image in the style of your reference image. You can also upload a reference image which it will then turn into the style of your first style image. So let's give this a go. I'm on the hugging face space. So let's start off with something a little bit hard for it maybe. Here we have a Picasso. So this will be our style image. Then we can put in our prompt here. Let's just hide this advanced options for now. Let's keep it really simple and just say Alama riding a skateboard. Keep the scale at one, see what it does. Generate image. Now obviously this being a hugging face space, this is completely free. So go give it a go. This will be the first link in the description, by the way. And there we go. That took about 30 seconds. And here is our llama. Let's take a look. Definitely not bad. Not bad at all. For some reason, in a lot of these hugging face spaces, for me, it just gets completely unresponsive after the first generation. Not sure why, but I always have to refresh the page. If anyone knows how I can fix that, Please let me know in the comments. All right, so here we have some Andy Warhol pop art. So this time let's go to advanced options and input a source image here. So here we have Elon Musk, obviously. We're gonna turn him into pop art by Andy Warhol. I believe this might work better if we do prompt a man, but let's actually just get rid of all that. See what it does with no prompt at all. We'll leave the negative prompt in and we'll leave all the other options as standard. Now the main ones you can obviously change are these scales to put more weight on one or the other. Uh, but let's just hit generate here. Okay, that's <laughs> not so good. Wow, that's that's pretty horrible to be honest. I mean, it got the colors right, but something definitely went wrong here. This is really weird. I had been playing around with this with other images and it was doing <laughs> a much better job than this. <laughs> that one's pretty funky though. Does not look like Elon Musk anymore. So I'm not sure which of these is the problem. Let's try switching out the style image. So let's try this charcoal art style. There we go. Definitely copied the style. I think our source image is actually the problem. So here's Taylor Swift. Let's try again. Wow. So it definitely copied the style again. Doesn't really look like Taylor Swift. So let's try some buildings actually. So here we have the Starry Night. Actually, let's see the difference between a prompt and an image. Let's do Sydney Opera House with this Starry Night image. Wow. There we go. That one worked really well. Here we have it. The Sydney Opera House. That's really cool. Now let's compare that to actually uploading an image of the Sydney Opera House. Wow, also really good. Alright, so let's take this pop art of this cat and input this dog. Okay, that's... All the colors are right. Let's try and see if we upload the same style image, but just use a prompt. So let's say a golden retriever with its tongue hanging out. There we go. It seems the prompts do work better than the input images. As you can see, this is pretty much perfect, exactly what we wanted. All right, let's do Scarlett Johansson with the cat. I turned down the scale to 0.8. So let's actually put in Scarlett Johansson here and let's run that. And there we go. Wow, that one's fantastic. So it definitely works a lot better if you put the name of the person in there. These are really good. So let's try the same reference image. Portrait of Obama. <laughs> and there he is. It gave him the sunglasses as well because of the reference image. Amazing. And this is a bit hit or miss. Sometimes it works really well, like with this one right now. As you can see, it did change the entire breed of dog, but you can prompt that better. And you can play around with all these sliders here. So give this a go. First link in the description. Second link will be my Discord server. So join that if you love AI, or have any questions or just want to talk about anything or share your creations. Come join and I'll see you next week.